Hey, you guys, and happy Saturday. We are on our way, so come on, we're taking you with us. So we are off. We are on our way to those ravines I was telling you guys about yesterday. If you watched the live over on Divine Design, we got to talking about those ravines and how they were built during World War II by the women whose husbands were off at war. So that's where we're going to shoot a little video for you guys. It's a collaboration with Kathy of Spicy Cat Jam. So if you're not subscribed to her yet, go ahead and give her a subscribe. This video should be going up on Tuesday if everything goes as planned. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let's go see what kind of good shots we can get. We have arrived, you guys. Over there's the Hanging Bridge. Not sure if you guys can see it. If you watched the little live feed we did earlier, then you guys have already seen some of it. Yeah, we just climbed it down here. That's not the problem. The problem is gonna be climbing back up. You hear those people over there? The bridge is swinging <laughs> with them on it. And I think they're a little scared. They're a little scared. But anyway, isn't it so beautiful? This is the little stream in case you missed it on the live. There's the little stream. That water is so clear, you can't even tell the water's moving. But yeah, there's actually water in there and it's moving. Beautiful area, way up tall, way up there is where the cars are parked and where you can drive around. So you have to climb down in this little gully. I was telling you guys a little bit about it yesterday on the live. And I mentioned to you about this little area we have built in World War II. It's an old, old place, but so peaceful and so, so beautiful. So we're about to get to work to do a little filming for you. So you guys thought I was kidding you, right? Uh-uh, there's your caution right there. <laughs> this right here is a prime opportunity for a gator hole. Alright, so you're fixing to get a little behind the scenes action of one of our scenes here. Wait, 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 he's not ready. You got it ready? And when you hand it to me, you're gonna have to take up. Make it like your tail is saying, like your nail is, you're trying to make it feel good, it's not healthy. Just don't step back in. Go. So how did that work, Bob? Think that worked okay? Good. Hollywood should give us a call. So this is gonna be another test of this Urban Decay Foundation. So far it's holding up okay, but you guys have seen it. <laughs> a normal day of filming, it doesn't usually last. So we will see how it's gonna last out here because I am already sweating. Had to wipe so much sweat off. It is hot and we are moving a lot. So anyway, let's hurry up and get this done. Call it a day, cut and wrap so that we can get out of the sunshine. All right, you guys, the prettiest spot in the park and it's not gonna work. Even with this microphone on, the water is too loud. So. Here we go, back to the drawing board. We should have brought our lights. Where would you plug them in at? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mom. Here. And that's on video. 
Hey you guys, and welcome to Divine Design. Today I have a very exciting, yet a little bit different kind of video for you. We're gonna talk about a very serious issue. I'm gonna tell you guys how being fat ruined my life. Unhappy. It's real easy whenever you're unhappy with yourself, whether it's weight or any other kind of issue, to take that out on the people that you love the most. When you feel unlovable, it's hard for you to give love, and it's also hard for you to receive love because you begin feeling like you're not worthy of it. Sad news, you guys, we could never find the azaleas. We found like a couple blooms, that's it. So where are they hiding? We've already even had our annual azalea festival that we always have here in town. They are always in full bloom. So I'm not sure what's happening unless, like I told you guys yesterday, we've had some drought going on. Maybe it just hasn't been wet enough for them to be full bloom like they were supposed to be. So. This video is not going to be quite as colorful as I wanted it to be, but <laughs> that's the way it goes, right? And I got to tell you guys, while I was sitting here trying to film it, all these people kept walking by, walking their dogs, walking over the bridge, you know, walking these trails. And I got a little self-conscious, so I got to go home and listen to that back. Might have to redo the whole blasted thing whenever I can do it somewhere and be alone. But... For the most part, it doesn't typically embarrass me, but I guess when you're talking about an issue like this and people walking by looking to see what you're doing, kind of funny. But anyway, now we've lost the cover to the microphone. The boys are trying to find it, and then we're out of here. Well, here comes the bubster. He must have found it. Did you find it, bub? Did you find it? Did you find it? Where was it? It's over there at the table. <laughs> That's a long run, huh? <laughs> Time to get our grub on. We're going to have some delicious barbecue. Well, looky, looky, looky. We have been by the post office on our way home, and there is a package from Miss Nessa. What a nice surprise, Nessa, to come home to. I'm gonna open that one up over on the other channel, it over on Divine Design. You guys can look for that video coming soon, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here, you guys, because we still have a couple videos to film for you all tonight so that I don't have to worry about it on Monday because tomorrow we'll be gone all day, and then Monday I am hoping to tear apart my office, <laughs> move it all out here in the living room, so that we can get started painting. It's exciting, but dreading it at the same time because it is a lot of work. It's like exciting and not exciting all at the same time. So I'm gonna try to knock out a couple of my videos tonight, see if I can't get a jump start on things. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here with you. Hope you enjoyed our trip to the ravines. Hope you enjoyed looking at all that beautiful nature. And I hope you're gonna like the video that comes out of it next week. <laughs> that is if the footage is good enough to keep with all the frogs and all the people. Not too sure about that. But anyway, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with us. Remember, it is a divine life, so go and live it with purpose. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.